He was an imposing figure, with piercing eyes that seemed to see straight through you. He had a certain charisma and magnetism that drew people to him. Gurdjieff had a face that seemed to be etched with the lines of a thousand years of experience. He moved with a slow, deliberate grace that gave the impression of immense power and control. Gurdjieff was a man of contradictions. He could be incredibly kind and compassionate one moment, and then cold and brutal the next. But through it all, you could tell he was always searching for something deeper and more profound. He was short and broad-shouldered, with piercing eyes that seemed to bore into your soul. Gurdjieff's eyes were like lasers, cutting through the pretense and superficiality of everyday life. I felt in his presence that he knew all about me, and it was a wonderful feeling. You felt you were known, not just for what you were on this little spot in time and space, but for what you were through all time and space. He had a strong, almost primal energy that seemed to emanate from his very being. When you were in his presence, you couldn't help but be aware of his physicality and power. The impression he made upon me was that of immense power, and almost equally of immense suffering. He was, I should say, a man on fire. I have never seen anyone like him. Gurdjieff had a broad, powerful frame that seemed to radiate energy. He had a shaved head and a thick black beard, and his eyes sparkled with a mischievous light. Gurdjieff's face was deeply etched with lines and wrinkles, and his eyes had a penetrating quality that could be both comforting and unsettling at the same time. He had a way of cutting through all the noise and distractions of the world and getting straight to the heart of things. Gurdjieff was like a mirror, reflecting back to you the things you needed to see in yourself. He had a remarkable ability to uncover your hidden strengths and weaknesses. Gurdjieff had a commanding presence that made him seem much taller than he actually was. His eyes were like searchlights, and when he focused his attention on you, it was impossible to look away. Gurdjieff was an artist in life. He had composed himself. The impression he gave me was that of a man who had mastered his own machine. He had a power of intense attention, which I found both inspiring and terrifying. He had a kind of magnetic energy that drew people to him. He had a powerful, almost hypnotic gaze, and he moved with a grace and fluidity that seemed almost otherworldly. He had a face that was both stern and compassionate, and a voice that could convey great authority or tenderness. Depending on the situation, he was a man of great contrast, both intense and gentle, and always utterly present in the moment. He had a way of moving that was almost cat-like, with a grace and fluidity that belied his bulk. He was a force of nature, and you could feel his presence in the room, even when he wasn't speaking. Gurdjieff was an extraordinary man absolutely charismatic. He spoke directly without any beating about the bush, and what he said was aimed like an arrow at the heart. Gurdjieff made you feel that life was not just something to be lived, but a task to be undertaken. Meeting Gurdjieff was like being struck by lightning. It was a shock that turned one's life upside down. Gurdjieff's presence was powerful and compelling and I felt immediately drawn to him. He was like a force of nature with an intensity and energy that was almost overwhelming. 